<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. Today we are in a summer palace in Chengdu, a small town outside of Beijing. And we wanted to film in this beautiful location, but it seems like everyone is literally bumping into our video project here all the freaking time. <laughs> but now we don't care anymore. We're gonna start. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my best friend, Tina. <laughs> um, and Tina is here in China for the first time. Yes. And in this, uh, I kind of did like, Nai, whatever. They big. Cock. Yeah. <laughs> So, so because she's here, I thought I would like to introduce you guys to her and uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about how we met the first time and uh, about our long friendship. So me and Tina, we met each other in high school, no, middle school. Middle school? Fifth grade, right? Yeah. Yeah, in the fifth grade and we met each other, I remember it. we met each other the first time when I went for football practice and she was coming as well as one of the new kids from out of town because in my town we have a huge school and then all the other children from the nearby towns they had to come to our school to start school and uh, yeah, that's how we met. And I heard rumors that she had a horse but actually it was one of the other girls but we still <laughs> we still became friends and then we started horseback riding together because we were both so excited about it and uh, if we were not in school of course we spent the rest of our time in the riding club the horse club <laughs> so i don't know if you can sense it but we weren't the popular no ones. no no we were not <coughs> we were not very popular no. <laughs> yeah actually most people uh, they teased us uh, during um, during high school not like really ugly bullying but they were kind of teasing us because we only thought about horses 24 hours a day so yeah and since then we kind of grew away from the horse uh, yeah. passion <laughs> <laughs> somebody just bad in the background <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so fast forward to this day, we have now known each other for, what did we say? 14 years? 12? We measured it yesterday. Yeah, no, I don't I remember. forgot it. 11? Uh, oh, oh <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Cut again. <laughs> okay. Small issue here, okay. sorry guys. We uh -huh. met each other when we were... 11. 11? And then to 25 now. So 14 years. Yeah. Yeah, we're not very good at math, no. guys. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> now Tina is staying in Copenhagen in Denmark with her boyfriend. And I've been so lucky that she actually decided to buy a flight plane ticket to, uh, to China. She bought it like one year ago. <laughs> That was yeah. a little early. Danish people like to organize. Uh, this was very, very early. But, <laughs> but yeah, since then we've just been counting down and now you're here. So uh, what do you think about China? Actually, I love China. I love everything about China. The... <laughs> because it's really weird for us to speak English to each other, we just chose to <laughs> put in a Danish part so you guys can also hear how it sounds like when Danish people are speaking Danish to each other. Big cultural party here in Chengdu. Yes. So, Tine, what do you think about what has surprised you most about living here in China these yeah. past days? Actually, one of the things that surprised me most was the traffic and how it really happens here with Ligegyldigt om det er grønt eller rødt, man går bare alle steder, og ligegyldigt om der er tusind, der er dybt, og nej, man, man går bare, man kigger bare lidt til højre og venstre, og så går man bare og håber, at man ikke bliver kørt ned af en kæmpe bus og døde. Tag den, tag den på køle. Ja, fuldstændig. Det, det synes jeg er lidt vildt i sådan en storby, at det ikke bare er lidt bedre organiseret, men øh, vi har overlevet. Ja. Solen vækker ned. Kan du se, at jeg er blevet helt mørk? Du har det lige sådan lidt... Nej, men du har det fint. Det er bare mig, der er blevet fint. Ja, sådan ja. der, ja. <laughs> Super! Ej, jeg, jeg lader dig bare lidt frem, så. Der kom, der er solen. Okay. 
Okay, så trafikken, hvad siger du ellers? Øh, også forureningen. Øh, jeg havde godt hørt ja. om det, men jeg, nu var jeg også bare lige så uheldig, at de første dage, jeg var her, der var det sådan rigtig slemt. Så jeg var lidt overrasket over øh, lugten, der mm. egentlig var, og ja. bare hele atmosfæren, og alle skulle bære masker og sådan. Det var lidt mærkeligt, synes jeg. Men øh, nu er himlen blå igen, så det er rigtig godt. Nu står solen højt for himlen igen. Ja. Der var to dage med forurening, og nu har der været to dage med solskin. Og så håber vi lidt på, at der er solskin resten af tiden. Og vi snakker lige lidt højere, fordi der er lige kommet en hel gruppe af turister her, som ødelægger vores video. Ja, og det er faktisk også den tredje ting, som jeg vil nævne. Det er måske øh, øh, den store forskel, der er mellem danskere og kinesere i forhold til opførsel. Ja. De spytter rigtig meget. Mm. Det er jeg ikke rigtig vant til. Øh, og så stiger de rigtig meget. Yeah. Sådan, rigtig meget. Det, det skulle jeg lige smukke. Ja. <laughs> det skulle jeg lige vende mig til i starten, fordi hjemme i Danmark, der er der ikke nogen, der kan et blik på mig her, der <laughs> føler jeg, at jeg er en eller anden superstjerne. <laughs> man er superstjerne, selvom man ikke har lavet noget tv endnu. Ja, fuldstændig. <laughs> ja. Men men det vender man også. Altså. Ja, ja. Man vender sig til det. Jeg tænker, at Tine, hun har klaret det godt i metro. <laughs> jeg vidste ja. Tine fra starten af, hvordan man skulle øh, opføre sig i metro, når hun har... Jeg lærte simpelthen... fra den bedste. Ja. <laughs> jeg er måske lidt aggressiv i metro, men øh, Tine, hun vidste bare lige, hvordan hun skulle håndtere det. Og jeg fortalte hende, før vi skulle af øh, toget, fortalte hende hver gang, hvilken vej vi skulle og hvilken trappe. Og så var hun bare all in på at være den første oppe ja. <laughs> Så det må jeg sige. Så det var faktisk... Ja. En form for motion, ja. bare at være den der løb hurtigst op ad trapperne og hurtigst rundt om hjørnet ja. og zigzagget ind imellem med mennesker, der var så optaget af deres mobiler. Og... Ja. ja, det synes jeg faktisk også, jeg er ret Det vil jeg give dig. Ja. Det kan ja. vi bare. Så er du klar næste gang til at tage metroen mm. alene alle steder. Ja. Det er godt. Oh. Anyways guys, uh, now you've met my friend Tina and uh, yay! I feel so big with this jacket. It's, it's like, you have a big like, jacket on. Like a polar bear. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching this little video. Remember to give me and Tina a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling and Tina is out. See ya and see ya again. Bye bye. <laughs>